right, so today we have something really exciting for you guys. We're gonna take a look at the crime lab here at the Bellevue Police Department. So we have a full service crime lab here at Bellevue Police. So our officers can take evidence on the street, they can submit it to our crime lab. And what we get is we get a much faster turnaround time for that evidence. We can process the evidence for fingerprints and other things. So let's go in our crime lab. Let's meet our crime lab staff and let's take a look at what they do here. The first thing we have to do though, is we have to sign in. Everyone that comes in the crime lab has to sign in and that's to maintain a chain of custody for the evidence. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so let's go in the crime lab here and let's meet our crime lab staff. We have Brian Orr here, who is our lab manager for our forensics lab. So Brian, why don't you introduce your uh, newest assistant here and then we'll uh, take a look at some of the tools that we use here at the lab. Well, good afternoon, welcome to the Bellevue Police Forensic Laboratory. Again, I'm Brian Orr, the lab manager, and this is Aliyah Mo. She's a forensic technician. We're both certified late print examiners, and this is our facility. Okay, so we've got a lot of different uh, tools that you use uh, for processing evidence. So why don't you talk a little bit about the lab and what the lab does and some of the tools that you use. Certainly. So this laboratory is specifically designed for processing evidence for any kind of evidentiary, you know, anything of evidentiary value that can be of use to the investigator's uh, investigation of the crime or whatever the case may be. So we are service providers to the officers and detectives. So the evidence is collected off the street, we'll come into this laboratory and we'll get work orders from our detectives and what kind of evidence they want collected, whether it be fingerprints, any kind of blood, hairs, fibers like that, and we fulfill those orders. So um, all this equipment that you see is specifically designed for uh, forensic, uh, you know, collection of evidence. All right, so I see this big blue, it looks like a submarine, but I know it's not. So what is this thing? And it's not a washing machine either. So we're very unique in the fact that Bellevue has a system like this. This is called the vacuum metal deposition chamber. It's actually a high vacuum chamber. There's about 15 to 20 of these in the United States but there's only three of these in all of North America this size, and obviously you're looking at one of them. This chamber up here is one inch thick stainless steel chamber. There's a series of pumps down here that will evacuate all the air, all the molecules out of this chamber to a equivalent of one millionth of an atmosphere. So what we do then is we take what's called evaporation metals. Now this process is actually a commercial process, but this chamber was or actually physically designed for forensic work. So what we do is we take these evaporation metals and we, under uh, high heat, we take the metals and we uh, go from a solid to a gas to a solid, and it's a process called physical vapor deposition. Here's a sample of the metals that we use right here. We use sterling silver, zinc, copper, aluminum, that's gold, it may be tough to see, but that's fine gold wire that we use. That's silver, 100%, 99.9% silver, and that's tin. So when we evaporate these metals, they actually adhere to the evidence everywhere except where there's contamination and fingerprints are contamination. It's a very, very sensitive process. When we evaporate these metals and the coating on the evidence is two to three microns thick. So this, it's, it's not a silver bullet. A lot of people come in the lab and they see and they're very impressed by the size of this thing. It's not a silver bullet. We do uh, cases for other agencies, cold cases, cold homicide cases. And we do about a dozen of those uh, a year. So where are some other um, agencies that have asked us to help them out with this vacuum deposition chamber? Uh, most recently, we just worked a case for Tacoma. We worked a case all the way from New Hampshire, uh, La Farouge Parish, uh, Louisiana. Bedford, Idaho, California. Great, yeah. so we're definitely getting our use out of it. Sounds Absolutely, like we, use this, we use this system every week. Every week, yeah. all right. Sounds good. So um, what are some of the other tools that we use to find fingerprints? Uh, you may have seen that on TV where they use super glue to actually uh, collect, try to process for fingerprints. That We actually use that system. These chambers right here that you see against the wall, these are what are called atmospheric cyanacrylate fuming chambers. So basically what we do is we take super glue and we use a lot of super glue. We buy super glue in bottles this size. And then what we do is 
So we'll place the super glue on these tins and then we'll heat it up on this hot plate inside this chamber, that sealed chamber, and the fumes will actually, re actually react with the water present in any latent fingerprints and they'll actually develop the latent prints. Okay, so what happens after the super glue process here? So after the super glue process, when we're trying to we get that contrast and clarity, in order to achieve that contrast, we may use tools like an alternate light source and different dye stains. Now I'm going to have Allie tell you about that process. Okay, great. Okay, so we're going to take a look at this uh, cool forensic light here, but before we do that, we need to put the glasses on. So if you look through, um, well, you can just see it with your goggles. So there's actually a fingerprint on the rock here. So let's go ahead and uh, get a little closer here. And this specifically on this rock is a fluorescing powder. Okay. We have, uh, like I said, the black powder is magnetic, but we also have specific powder that will fluoresce under the ultimate light source, just like the liquid chemical. So if you're wearing the goggles, you would see the fingerprint, but if you take them away, it's gone. We record um, all our findings with digital photography. We have several different uh, digital cameras. We have an imaging system. We also use Photoshop, Lightroom, and Bridge for our managing our digital photographs. Other equipment we have here, we have a digital microscope. We also have standard microscopes here. And we talked about the super glue fuming method with the atmospheric chambers. We also do the same process under vacuum. And the advantage of this is uh, super glue under vacuum. Like I just recently, I did a uh, ammunition magazine with the bullets inside the magazine. I could actually do the, the super glue fuming process without removing the bullets and I would still get uh, like fingerprint evidence. And the other thing is it looks like you could use this for a chili cook-off if you wanted to. Don't give my secrets away. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thanks for showing us around the crime lab and all the tools that we have here in Bellevue to process evidence that we take in from the street. And make sure you follow the Bellevue Police Department on Twitter and Facebook, and you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see more video blogs.